So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshiahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the autumn feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid the waste for many centuries. As we read then Yerushiahu the prophet, the layer we are speaking of is found in the 61st chapter of Yerushiahu, where then the Savior himself was in the temple teaching the people. And then, not only this, but when we read Leviticus 23rd chapter, we then understand the holy feasts or Moadim, and those were simply indications of the times and the seasons so then we would understand how to count the time. Let's then evaluate what's going on in the world because we are then studying Daniel the 11th chapter precisely related with the time of the restoration period and then most of the 11th chapter relates with the Gentiles governments. But let's then evaluate what's going on in the world because it's very relevant and today we found some very interesting information regarding the end joining of China and the Soviet Union and they are already working together for the substitution of the USD. Extremely important because this is showing another step of the new system coming and then the computerized market coming very fastly as we then understand the 12th chapter of Daniel and then knowledge shall increase. Knowledge would obviously increase for the purposes of trade. So then, the United States unfortunately is bound with problems and conflicts and wars and President Obama then is involved with Syria and then Iraq and many other places and they are wasting so much money with these and lots of resources for absolutely no reason. It was said before and many times before whatsoever United States is trying to do after 09 simply won't work. But then let's evaluate some instances where then the United States has then involved itself and why this time it simply won't work. U.S. should retrieve as we can understand the holy instructions. We have at least roughly, this is not on the tip of the pencil but from the time we're experiencing then the gathering of the socialist groups for the purposes of trade and protection of trade until the returning of the ships we are speaking in a certain amount of time this amount of time can be roughly calculated. At this time we understand in the very near future U.S. must retrieve. The world is changing very fast. The transitional time is then extremely strong. And the U.S. then is refusing to understand that their time of being a leader amongst the nations is definitely expired. They can't be leaders anymore. It takes some times humble understandings when relates with the times and the seasons and we find these absolutely precisely from the Hebrew instructions and then truly is a time for the nation then to rebuild itself. As far as the problems with the Mideast, it was said before, 
the only proper way of helping those people is then providing a safe haven for the civilians a pathway so they can come out of those places at war and then be joined with obviously humanitarian help and then deciding what to do from then on truly would be the perfect scenario at this time of transition US however is trying to control those people they're trying to control the situation they're trying to control the nations it won't work so then because of these the world then obviously is concerned with the economy of US because of the USD many countries such as Brazil is a hundred percent dependent upon the USD but is coming to an end and the US won't be able to manipulate their monetary system to get the advantage and pay for their crazy ideas of leadership and control of the world so then as we read the holy instructions what can we detect as far as, as having a positive outcome for such a huge problem obviously we have to read and find and underline those instructions of the future delineated so precisely from the holy hebrew instructions and then we should use those factors so then nations can make preparations for the future while then the answer is already positive on the other side so then we understand the 11th chapter of Daniel verse 1 4 explains then the northern kingdom coming later with a great army and much equipment we understand this truly is a factor the creator himself then instructed Daniel write these what would be then the proper answer for these obviously Obama should have a visit with Mr. Putin from the Northern Kingdom and then adjust the military situation regarding the Middle East it would be the proper course of action now we understand from the holy instructions there is for instance Egypt must make a deal with the northern kingdom this truly is a must you can read for yourself and then from then on through Egypt then the harmonization of northern Africa and then Sudan where Tabernacle is going to be at so then since we have this information at hand US yet refuses to listen and they want to do it their way they trying to extend the statue of Daniel the third chapter they try to make a golden image for themselves control control freaks they want control of those people they want to control the culture US is becoming paranoid for having so much control and people simply don't want their leadership anymore they are causing so many troubles more troubles than positives then we understand explains then the despised one in the 28th verse then coming out of the deal with a great wealth this was explained before US yet has the time of linking up with China and the friends of China and their economical monetary system so then via computer in a very short time they can do instant transactions and then obviously receiving great rewards for it the world is a precise place at this time as the nations are exchanging and buying and having items for sale and internet sales 
the whole situation is becoming precise every time you have a purchase you have a transaction number or a transaction ID so the expenses are calculated and then recorded so then other nations who are from the third world countries can rely on a system where then governments don't steal it Brazil for instance is absolutely scoundrelous place regarding government they are thieves everywhere scoundrels of the worst kind they think of themselves as gods believe it or not and stealing for instance doesn't even face them anymore it's part of their language kickbacks and then bribery of many kinds and then money exchange from one to another and then scoundrelizing the government and buying such a price and then re sell the items or then the transactions with the higher prices and then printing money from the government from behind it's absolutely dirty as you can ever imagine the only way this can be placed under the control is by having a computerized system and transactions recorded it's the only way of doing it and China truly is the master of it then what else can we understand in the United States the retrieval of their ships at some point their military must get out of the world give the world a breathe so they can calculate what they want as far as this leadership for their own countries and then linking up with China and then thinking of reconstruction infrastructure roads mining and the places of war unfortunately providing a path for the civilians so then it can be protected besides these we can only expect US to becoming rejected alone isolated and then plunging itself further down into debt that's what they're going to get out of the deal for huge debt nearly insolvency because the world is trying to substitute their monetary system because they know US is not producing they are only enticing war and conflicts because of these then the 21st chapter of the 11th chapter is extremely near there is a short while yet from the 8th verse through the 21st quite a bit of time yet but we know what's going on because the instructions are very clear then the next time they're going then evaluate the influence of the northern kingdom and the importance of the military becoming in their hands the most powerful and influential military in the world we're going to evaluate the protection of trade and the usage of submarines so please stay tuned much more coming up